today, welcome to some magic lessons when I not learned really long ago. So today, I'm going to teach you this. See this jack right over here? You see it? Okay, check this out. It changed into another jack. Um, and I'll do it again. How did I do that? I was like, I didn't even pick up another card. Did you see even this hand moving? I, it's like, you can even re re um, rewind it or do it now and just tap the hold and play button really fast, okay? You can see not one of my hands moved. <coughs> so, that's one I'm going to teach you. Then there's another one. Just click on a can I get it? Then see those two jacks? And then okay. Now I'm gonna put them in the middle. And then pinky pinky stinky sucks. There's the two dead two jacks. Now for the I'm gonna teach you that. And then I'm gonna teach you this one. But you're gonna need it too. Sometimes you can also do it with one set of cards. So I'm just gonna demonstrate it for now. Now, you have to pick a card. There's four cards. Now I'm gonna pick this one for you, okay? You might have took it. You're allowed to see. So, over there. There's your card. So I'm just gonna put it down here. Then I'm going to put these cards back to the box. Then, I'm going to put some other cards in. Now I'm going to close the box. Pinky, pinky, stinky, six. There's two identical, well, not quite, but two identical queens. So, I'm going to teach you those those tr those two tricks it's really 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 easy e e i'm 12 years old but uh yeah it depends if your your child is really dependent on c card magic tricks and um about it so first i'm gonna show you this magical trick one of you change the card without even using a other card. Well, actually, here's my secret. I used two cards. And I used Prestic, as you can see there, see there? I used Prestic to put them together. This one is really easy. I just made it this morning, <laughs> literally. So I'm just going to take this off, this Prestic. And Prestic is really, um, really handy, especially if it comes to cards. You have to use the coded cards, otherwise it won't, the Prestic won't work. And tape, eh, you will never get it off. You might even damage the card. So what I normally do is just hang on a sec. What I normally do is I use Prestic. I use plastic. I use it in half. Then I take. Just hang on a sec. There's something in plastic. So then I do this. I put one here and one corner. It doesn't matter which corner you choose. Then this. You, you can. And then you just make sure the cards are exactly the same way if you don't use but you have to do it on the side you can even use it on four sides but i'm used two sides well corners then you just have to make sure that they're the perfect in line and voila and then what you do is by doing this that you change the card is you hold it like this you will need practice for this switch, but you can't do it like this. Check it out. 
You hold it like that. You can't do it like that, otherwise this will happen. They will know you're going to switch it. So, you have to use it, you hold it like this, then everyone even can see. Then, what you do is, you hold this finger, see that one right over there? This finger right here. Then, if you switch it, you just rip your, your, your hand down and push, and push this finger forward. And voila! And just catch it again, because, but it's really easy, because if you know how to switch cards, you can even, um, you have to practice, because it has to look like this. Oops, sorry, not like that. <laughs> like this. It has to look like that, so, and you have to stop it, and you have to quickly, quickly get it back to where it was. So, that's the one trick. It's really easy. You, you can even try to get it now. Now. Here's another one. I'm gonna now teach you. I'm just gonna quickly do something. Just need to quickly get those two jacks that I put it in the middle. So here's my secret. I didn't really bring them out again. I actually, before I shoot, showed you when I did it like this. What I did is I put the jack in front and at the back, but the both are on the same side. You can't do it like this, otherwise it will look like this. Ah! Okay, well, that was, uh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, but otherwise it will look like this, and you knew it didn't work, so don't do it like that. You, okay, just like those two cards. Um, so you have to make them both go on the same side. If you might be wondering, but how can I hide it? I have to hold it like this. Well, actually, you don't have to. You can only show it like this, and it's really easy. It's just that easy. And you just whoop, and you go out. You got two cards because you have to use plastic coated, otherwise it won't work. So, but I think with normal cards, does it also work? But so you just put these two jacks in the middle, like I showed you in the beginning, like this. You put the jacks in the middle. You tell everyone you're putting the two jacks in the middle, otherwise this won't work. You put the two jacks in the middle, and voila, there's the two jacks. Other tip, this one is kind of, some people might figure it out, but it's a really cool one, because I, the first time when I saw, saw this one, I was really shocked. So, it's a really cool trick, oh, and I think I got, no, and, uh, what really and also you you can even use two sets of cards I'm using the red but there's one tip you must do one red one black you can't do it two red you can't do it two red or two black because otherwise it won't work because look if you two, you take the two reds you put it in the middle then there will only then there will come two blacks you have to bring it all through all the cards. The, the trick is you bring it all through all the cards and then you get them. Like, you catch them. And actually, it's just normal stuff. So, I think you know maybe that one. Then, I'm going to teach you this one. You, so, I'm just going to gonna get the queens. Where are they? Oh, right, they're in the box. So, you can use a kings, queens, or jack. But you have to do four, okay? But some, but you can use two sets of cards as well. But I only have one set of these cards, so... And you have to do it the same color. You have to remember which, which color they used. So, mm, I'm just going to take the two queens. Uh, okay, like this. Then you, then you ask someone, pick a card. Then they might, for example, take this one, a, ooh, a queen clover. I call it a clover. But then you have to take the, the queen spade. Check that out. Then you have to take the queen spade. Put it in front. Then you can take some cards to make them confused. Here's the trick. You make take new, new cards and make them confused. And you have to pretend you're, you're shuffling them. So that's what I'm doing right now. Then, when you put them in, take the front one, which you took. 
I'm taking clean space. So then you close the, the box and you have to see this lip, this lip right over here. It, you will see it on every box. Then you'll have to take this, this queen that you want to reveal to them. Then you take, you. this is an easier way, but you must not make it visible. So you put it in and see, I, it's really hard to see, but see there's a card right over there. See it? Now you have to keep that card in front, keep it there, bend the, card, the box a little, and put it in. Then you hold the lid. Some boxes might not work as well. So then you take the box's lid and inky pinky stinky stops. And if it doesn't want to come out, just shake it a little bit. Inky, and if it really doesn't want to come out after that little shake, then you just inky pinky stinky sucks. Then you'll see there comes a little piece of thing, and voila! You give it to them. But you must make that thing, that one part of that, that you, you take the fun card and put it in there. You mustn't make it visible. But you can do it like this. Check it out. I'm just gonna do it a little bit like normal. You put it, you, you all, you, you put all the cards in. I'm just putting it back. You take it, really sneaky, make it like that, and inky pinky stinky stuff. And voila, there's your card. So that one's really easy, but if you, but you have to take the front card, otherwise this won't work. Because look what happens if you take don't take the front card. You might miss it, or you will take two. But it's really easy to make. Just take one card. But check what out happens if you take two cards. Inky pinky stinky socks. If one is, it won't slide out that easy. Two is, if it does, you will reveal your secret. And then you might accidentally pull it out and slip it, for example, like that, for example, by accident. Not on purpose, by accident. So then you just have to, but you ha if that happens, if that happens, you just you just bring your card, the card that you don't want to reveal, bring it down and keep it down. And you'll take out the one. You just have to push it back into the box if that happens. It didn't really happen to me, but it just in case it happens to you. So yeah, there's the three tricks. It's a really easy trick. Yamama! Yeah,